Acts chapter 9, verses 15 through 16. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Here we have Saul, who is to become the Apostle Paul. We see here a commission in these two verses, a commission that states the Lord will show him not how rich he will be, not how popular he will be, but he's going to show him how he will suffer. Christians today, yes, many prosper. Yes, many are risen up to prominent positions. But the common denominator for all Christians is that we must be ready for the commission of suffering. Suffering has taken place throughout the history of mankind when it comes to Christians. In the time of the Romans, individual Christians, families being led to the arena to fight for their life with wild beasts, Christians being poured with oil and animal skin and being lit as torches to light the city. Individuals throughout the history of Christianity that have brought the Bible in the original tongue of the people, production of God's word, the promulgation of the gospel. These individuals, many were burned at the stake. Many were tortured to have them denounce and renounce their Christianity. Throughout the Bible, their suffering of the righteous. Scripture states in Acts chapter 14, verse 22, that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. Yes, Christians suffer persecution. Christians are lied on. Christians are falsely accused, mocked, scorned, ridiculed. All these persecutions coming from the enemy to cause us to buckle and renounce our faith in Christ. Suffering, on the other hand, comes to make us stronger in the Lord. Scripture teaches that tribulation worketh patience. Persecution and tribulation should not cause us to give in and give up our faith. Persecution and tribulation should cause us to fall on our knees and cry out to God and become closer with Him. Suffering for the Christian is enduring those same attacks that the Lord Jesus Christ suffered for us. And we are taught as we suffer to pray for our enemies, bless those that curse us, pray for those that despitefully use us, to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with those that despise us. And it is part of our calling to suffer as a Christian, to glorify God in our suffering, and to know that we are overcomers and victorious in the Lord, as Jesus Christ taught in the book of John chapter 16 verse 33 in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of life changing ministries international with Dr. E.K.D. Quick for more information log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com